Tell you oh there champs and can you believe it? A MacBook Pro or a MacBook with AMD CPU and AMD graphics? Bring it on. Woof. It might be happening and this has the potential to be absolutely game changing, disruptive, not only for the Macs and the MacBook Pros, but what does this mean for other Ultrabooks? Other manufacturers may be going along the same sort of lines with their Ultrabooks and it has the potential to be, especially for Ultrabooks and 13 inches or 14 inches where now you'll be able to get them and they will compete very well against say for example like a 15 inch of a few years ago especially for content creation video editing the graphics are going to be good and that let's talk about it let's talk about it now first thing is go to twitter follow this guy he's got lots of gold in here i'm telling you now this ro game whatever follow him he's got lots of great stuff but he's saying here apple macbook with ice lake why well could it be for the macbook air but i don't remember apple ever using i3s but anyway it's the ice lake version of the y processors that go in macbook airs and that used to go in the macbook so this intel processor we'll get onto the macbook pros in a sec this intel processor can be for the macbook or the macbook air or both it's possible it could be both now it's only two core four thread maybe the i7 version is you know four cores we don't know yet these are low powered like eight watts or something like that really low powered but they're good enough for just basic sort of tasks so yeah that's one thing but that is not the end of it. We're talking about AMD. And what we have here in the latest beta version of Mac OS is sort of calls for, or not calls, just, you know, in the code base there, we have mentions of all these supposed APUs that are going in the new CPUs that are going to be on the AMD CPUs for mobile laptops. And why this is game changing is... Because look how amazing this is. We're not talking about the H. I still think Intel have the lead when it comes to the H part. So the 45 watt part. I think Intel still got the lead. They've already got 8 cores. And yeah, you can get 8 cores with the Ryzen. You know, the 4800H. They do have a lead in the graphics department. But you got the discrete graphics with, you know, your MacBook Pro 16s and, you know, XPSs and stuff like that. But these U parts, all of these U parts here, this is unheard of to have 8 cores in a U part. Okay, so if you look at that, that is 8 cores in a 15 watt package. Currently... The maximum is six cores. That's with Comet Lake CPUs. If you go to Ice Lake, which is the one with the good graphics, and by the way, these have good graphics, these Radeon CPUs, okay? Pretty much as good as the Ice Lake graphics, if not a little bit better, but these have eight cores. They're capped at four cores. Now, maybe Tiger Lake has six cores, but it doesn't matter. These things are going to scream up to 4.1 gigahertz. That will be single core, 15 watts. And if we have a look... Apple, of course, will use this part. They'll probably have the Ryzen 5 one as well as like an entry level, but they'll definitely have this 8-core one because also they've seen like LPDDR4 in the Mac OS beta as well. So we know LPDDR4, this supports LPDDR4. Only other CPU that supports it really is Ice Lake. And these can be configured to 25 watts. Now, the MacBook Pro currently has a 15 watt or a 28 watt part so it can handle 25 watts no problem so you can imagine this eight cores with ryzen graphics you already have metal built into mac os so it's going to be optimized yes you lose quick sync you will lose thunderbolt potentially being built in if you went with ice lake and like wi-fi 6 being built in but they should be able to use usb 4 or even thunderbolt 3 discreetly still with amd cpus and they should be able to do the same with wi-fi 6 but the graphics are going to be quite good and it's going to be a game changer because now you can buy a 13 inch or is it going to be the macbook pro 14 inch with enormous amounts of power you got eight cores can be configured to 25 watts and the macbook pro 13s already handle 28 watts so 25 watts will be a breeze 
then you have the good graphics. All right, you're gonna miss quick sync as I said before, but metal is built for AMD. So this 13 inch or 14 inch MacBook Pro is gonna be amazing if it has AMD graphics. And man, you're really gonna to have to have like really demanding workflow or, or really just have a use case where a 16 inch makes sense. Maybe the display, maybe the battery, I don't know, whatever. Or maybe you just need the beefier graphics of a 15 or 16 inch laptop but in terms of performance i can expect this is just going to be next level compared to any 13 or 14 inch ultra book when it comes to content creation just with the you know the good graphics you got eight cores i mean it's just going to scream it's going to fly and the dream could be true that you can go down to a smaller 13 14 inch more portable package but not compromise that much when it comes to power and content creation now i reckon apple pulled the wrong rein with the mac pro they should have been going with threadripper they were probably too far down the track with intel with that like system so you know they would have been able to get a custom threadripper you know cpu off amd so it could support ecc memory and like two terabytes of ram if they wanted their relationship is that good with amd but the thing is have they jumped to amd too soon will the empire strike back will tiger lake be something really good i doubt it's going to be any more than six cores maximum i think if you want six cores really you're going to have to be common lake i doubt that the tiger lake cpus even like the 14 nanometer versions of that whatever lake they call it or whether they call that tiger lake as well they're not going to have eight cores when should we expect it i reckon there's going to be a march event I reckon maybe March. I mean, why haven't they updated? I mean, if you think about it, the MacBook Pro 13, it's on 8th generation CPUs. You've got 10th generation CPUs out. You would have thought they would have upgraded to at least 9th generation CPUs or actually, when you think about it, do they have a 28 watt version of the 9th generation or 10th generation? But it's going to be very interesting and seeing as they're putting it in the beta already, um, I think, yeah, it's imminent. It's the next two to three months something like that new macbook pros and if they go this amd route uh, it's just wow these things are going to be amazing and yeah it just might be time to go to a 14 inch or a 13 inch maybe we'll have to test it and see like to know what you guys think i'll catch you in the next one tally ho